What's going on everyone? It's Dan here and today I'm bringing you some Skate 3 gameplay and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about a few things in regards to Skate 3, the Skate franchise, what's to come, etc, etc. Just basically to get your guys opinion on what do you think I should do with a few things, what are some expectations for Skate 4, etc, etc. If there is even a Skate 4 in the works, you know, I, I want to discuss that with you guys. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with my skate gameplay. I played all three skate games last year, uh, or sorry, well, yeah, last year in 2013. It is still 2014 for a few more days. Um, and I, it, it received a lot of praise. It, it was one of my most critically acclaimed series that I've ever done on my channel. And I'm sure a lot of people have subscribed for this series, so... Basically, I want to discuss a couple of things. Now, it just so happens that uh, with my year of Skate 3, when I played Skate 3, I mean, Skate 1 and 2 did good, yes, but Skate 3 did the best out of the entire trilogy. Now, it just so happens in, in 2013, a few other YouTubers decided to pick up Skate 3, whether they be for the first time or not. Now... I was one of the first, I'd say, to post Skate 3 in 2013 anyway. Not, not, it's not, not saying this is a pissing contest or anything of that nature, but um, just saying I, I kind of uploaded first. And uh, then it just so happens that a few, uh, a few YouTubers f uh, also did the same. And one of those YouTubers being PewDiePie. And I'm sure a lot of people, if not everybody, is aware of who, who PewDiePie is. And being that PewDiePie uploaded Skate 3, let's just say that Skate 3 was once again in very high demand. So everyone went out and wanted to buy a copy of Skate 3. Problem with that being, they don't exist anymore, basically. That no one is reselling Skate 3 anymore. The only place you could probably find a copy, a decent copy of Skate 3, uh, is, is your local GameStop or EB Games or some sort of place that would involve some sort of trade-in game program. And even then, chances are pretty slim to find one. Because even though the majority of the Skate fan base did enjoy Skate 3, loved Skate 3, uh, myself being one of those people, it didn't sell that well. It didn't sell that well in comparison to a lot of the other games, a lot its previous games anyway, even though it scored good on reviews. Now... This is where it gets kind of interesting, kind of kind of cool. Um, Skate 3, due to the fact that all these popular YouTubers were playing this game, and it sparked a demand for it, EA decided to resell the game. They started reprinting the game and releasing them in stores once again, because the demand was that high. Now, I just want you guys to think for a second. Like, just, just, just think about this for a minute, and really think what this means. Look at the difference... YouTubers make nowadays. You know what I mean? We're our voices are actually heard. We're like these game companies are, are are listening to what the people want, and the people want what the gamer wants. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, it's just incra It's crazy to see how much pull that some YouTubers can have out there, and I think that's great. So, with that being said, as gamers, we can we can potentially create opportunities. Opportunities. For us to receive those games that we've always wanted, receive different, uh, you know, different sorts of improvements to the gaming media or to gaming culture uh, that, that we've been wanting for a long time. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this, this, this leads to my next topic that I want to discuss in this video, and that is Skate 4. I don't know about you guys, but I've been wanting a Skate 4 for years. Skate 3 released back in 2010, I believe it was in May of 2010, and we, we've we been wanting a Skate 4 ever since then, like, let's be honest, I'm sure I'm not the only person out there who can agree with this, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people want another Skate franchise, and if big enough YouTubers like PewDiePie and the like, uh, could potentially cause, uh, create game gamers, or sorry, not gamers, but game developers and publishers to, to see how much of a demand there is for these games that maybe they can actually get to developing them and releasing them sooner rather than later. I mean, we've heard tons of rumors. I'm sure I'm not alone in hearing this, but we've heard a shitload of rumors 
in regards to, oh, is there a skate four? There's not a skate four. There will be a skate four. No, there won't. And most of the time, these rumors are started by hardcore fans. Not saying it's a bad thing that you're starting these rumors. I understand why these rumors get started because a lot of these fans really, really want another skate and, and they're giving other people potential hope and po potentially create an opportunity that seeing enough demand can actually get us a skate for. And now I, it, it can actually happen. You got to bring it to the right people. The right people got to mention that they want a skate for and perhaps we'll actually get one. And believe me, if Skate 4 comes out, I'll be the first on deck. I'll be there, I'll be playing the game ASAP because it's a series that I'm known for. It's a series that I'm very, very, uh, you know, famous for in a matter of speaking. A lot of people on my channel, like I said earlier, uh, are, are subscribed due to my Skate content. Now, Skate 3. Now, I've heard things about Skate 3 as well. Now, I just want to briefly touch back on Skate 3 while we're here. Uh, I, a fan once told me briefly that they asked me, they, they didn't tell me, they asked me, Dan, are you going to be playing the Skate 3 re-release in uh, 2015? And I'm like, what? what? What are you talking about? And I, I, like he had me stumped there. I'm like, what do you, what do you mean, that, the, the re-release? What re-release are you referring to? And apparently there was a re like a kind of like a definitive edition like they're doing with a lot of these uh last gen console games are coming out on the next gen like xbox one playstation 4 etc and i'm like damn that's a great idea that's awesome dude next gen because this is a game i'm well known for it's a game i love to play it's a game i have some skill at and i think it'd be a great idea unfortunately that was just a pipe dream by somebody i don't know who said it but there's nothing at all in relates to Skate 3 re-release, unless, of course, they're referring to reprints. Reprinting is very different from re-releasing. A reprint is what was the result of PewDiePie's, um, PewDiePie's influence. So, when you create that, that's just them trying to make extra money. It's EA, we know how EA is, and we know that they're only really in it for themselves, and that's about it. So, I want to ask you guys... Something else. I mean, whether or not Skate 3 releases on on next gen, would you guys want me to replay Skate 3? Now, this is how I'm looking at it. If Skate 3 releases on next gen, I'd most likely just play it regardless of whatever whatever anybody really says. <laughs> I, I'd want to play that game on next gen just to get the next gen experience. Even though the game is, well, going on five years old. You know, it would be the five year anniversary of Skate 3. That's insane, guys. Just thinking about it, it just makes me feel older already. <laughs> but at the same time, it could be a good thing. Like, honestly, I think that like, they could get a market for, for fans on next gen. Now... Let's say that it doesn't. It doesn't come out on next gen whatsoever. Would you guys still want me to play Skate 3 again on my console version on Xbox 360 that I have? Except with a bit of a twist. Like, I was considering doing it on hardcore difficulty. The whole game, all challenges on hardcore difficulty. And I don't want to do something like this unless I have 100% knowledge that people would want to want to watch this. I really need to know this. And I feel like you guys are the best people to ask since you're the ones who would be watching the content and have an interest in this series. So, once again, Skate 3 Hardcore Mode, Xbox 360, yes or no? And if it releases on Xbox One, PS4, fantastic, you'll know I'll be doing that. And basically though, if you guys are worried, Dan, you have too many series going right now, you gotta, you gotta slow it down. I totally agree. Which is why I wouldn't be starting this till later on in 2015, not like too crazy late, like obviously probably around January or February sometime. Uh, just when I start getting some series completed. Just, just I, I just want to know how much love there is for Skate 3. If I made a redo of this game, would you watch it? Would you have an interest in it? If I upped the ante by putting it on hardcore difficulty. So that's basically what I wanted to ask you about Skate 3 here. Now I want to move on to Skate 4. Now, in regards to Skate 4, there have been many debates, discussions, whether or not it's actually coming out. Five years in, the, five years later, we haven't heard a thing from EA. Uh, Black Box, EA Black Box, 
is now defunct. They, they don't they don't exist anymore. And they, if if you don't know who they are, they were the developers of the Skate franchise. And since they're gone, they'd have to get a new development team in. If that were the case, I'd love to see a Skate 4. And I think it would be in EA's best interest to create a Skate 4. I mean, it's funny because they make a Battlefield every year. They make uh, all these like games that, that, that come out on a yearly basis. But they don't, they don't realize how, how strong the fan base is for Skate 4. And the fact that people are, are, that, that people are waiting and really, really anticipating it, regardless of whether or not it's in development or not, that's going to guarantee you sales. Like, that is going to get you more sales than you would have if you didn't release it at all. Like, well, obviously, but just the hype alone by these YouTubers, like, whether it be myself, PewDiePie, or whoever else out there that's been playing skate and getting a decent, uh, you know, viewership of their videos and, and getting hyped towards it, as YouTubers, we can make these companies you know, listen to what we'd like to see, you know, we could, we could make them, uh, notice the desire to play another Skate 4, or sorry, to play Skate 4, and I think it can be done, I think we just need people like PewDiePie, uh, to kind of step it up and let, let them know he, if he had a fun with Skate 3, I don't know if he just played it for shits and giggles, which is probably the case, like, he, he usually just does that for fun, uh, but, or if he really feels like he'd like to play a fourth Skate, I, I don't know, but, Regardless, if we if we all stood up and kind of le left a message out, showed EA what, by how many re-release sales of Skate 3 we can get, maybe they'll maybe they'll re they'll start developing Skate 4. I think that'd be a great idea. And by now, they can put it on next-gen consoles, make it a next-gen exclusive, utilize next-gen graphics and next-gen features. So I feel like that's in the best interest. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this though. Skate 3 has made. You know, especially in the past year, a huge imprint, a huge mark on a lot of these, uh, a lot of these uh, developers. The fact that they're reprinting Skate 3, they haven't reprinted Skate 3 at all. They haven't reprinted a game like that in ages. So basically, they, four years later, they're reprinting a game that stopped being shipped, like after a year or two. Like it's crazy. So th that's impressive. I'm really proud of uh, of the YouTube community and what we can do and what we can accomplish. So. Answer me this, the, the question of this video, the answer me this, Skate 3 on Hardcore Mode for Xbox 360 one more time, since I've been having some copyright issues as well, that is something to point out, with skate, the Skate 3 videos, or should I not at all, if there's a Skate 3 re-release on next gen, would you guys like to see that, and Skate 4, do you think we can do it? What would you like to see in Skate 4 if it were to come out? What, what's a feature, what's something new that you'd like to see added? I, I don't, I, I want to hear what you guys think. Because I, I feel like a good chunk of my fan base would have something to say about this game and th this matter. So, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Favorite it as well, share it with your friends. Let's get this message out there. Let's get EA to know that we want to Skate 4. At least I do, and I'm sure hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people along with me want them as well. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Take it easy, have a good one, and I'll see you very soon for some more footage. Have a good one, guys.